हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन स्पोकन इंग्लिश क्लास इन द प्रीवियस मॉड्यूल वी हैव लर्न अ फ्यू वन वर्ड्स व्हिच आर यूज्ड एज सब्सटीट्यूट्स इन प्लेस ऑफ अ ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स टुडे वी शैल लर्न अ फ्यू मोर वन वर्ड्स व्हिच कैन बी यूज्ड एज अ सब्सटीट्यूट टू रिप्लेस अ ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स सो Let's begin the class. Let us see the first group of words. An animal that can live both on land and in water is called amphibian. Here we can use the word amphibian as a substitute to replace this group of words. Amphibians are animals that are characterized by their ability to survive both in water and on land now let us see how to use the word amphibian in a sentence please repeat after me a frog is the most commonly known amphibian Amphibians are considered as an important part of the ecosystem. Now, let us see the next group of words. The yearly recurrence of a date of past event or celebration of this here we can simply say anniversary an anniversary is the date on which an important event took place in a previous year and may also refer to the celebration of that event now let us see how to use the word anniversary in a sentence please repeat after me we celebrated our 10th wedding anniversary yesterday today is the anniversary of his death Now let us see the next group of words A study of ancient buildings and prehistoric remains Here we can replace this group of words with a single word archaeology Archaeology is the scientific study of historic or prehistoric peoples and their cultures by analysis of their artifacts inscriptions monuments and other such remains now let us see how to use the word archaeology in a sentence please repeat them after me the knowledge of archaeology can help you better understand the primitive civilizations She is very interested in history and archaeology and often visits historic sites. Now, let us see the next group of words. a government by the nobles or we
we can simply say aristocracy. Aristocracy is a form of government in which power is held by the nobility. Now, let us see how to use the word aristocracy in a sentence. Please repeat after me. Aristocracy is still prevalent in some of the European countries. Aristocracy as a form of government is the thing of past in most of the Asian countries. Now, let us see the next group of words. The art of telling the future by the study of the stars. Or we can simply say astrology. Astrology is the ancient practice of studying the movements and positions of the sun, moon, planets and stars in the belief that they affect human lives. Now, let us see how to use the word astrology in a sentence. Please repeat after me. She is busy writing a book on astrology. I don't believe in astrology. Now, let us see the next group of words. Study of all heavenly bodies and of the earth in relation to them. Here, instead of saying this full sentence, we can simply say astronomy. Astronomy is the scientific study of celestial bodies such as stars, planets, comets, and galaxies. Astronomy is not the same as astrology. Some may find it easy to confuse between astronomy and astrology. Astronomy is a branch of science exploring the world of stars and planets and the cosmos, while astrology is based on assumptions that the planets in solar system have an impact on our lives. Now, let us see how to use the word astronomy in a sentence. Please repeat after me. Astronomy deals with the stars and planets. Astronomy as distinct from astrology is an exact science. In this module, we have learnt that how we can use a single word for a group of words. In the next module, we shall learn some more one word substitutions. Thank you.